Hey, this is Ben Seacrest from Accurate. Another knot for you today. This one's pretty much an arbor knot. Got a, got a lot of people asking me how we, you know, basically secure our line to the real arbors. This one's for mono. We're gonna do a couple of them coming forward. We're gonna do one for, for braid, one for mono. This is the mono one. This is called an arbor knot. This is 30 pound mono, okay? You're gonna go around the arbor, all right? And you're gonna pull up. You need to tie a little knot at the top of your tag here. There's my little knot. Then I'm gonna come over here and on this line, I'm gonna tie a sliding knot that will go basically go around the whole thing. So there's a sliding knot. I'm gonna tighten up on that. You can see it right here. This, this, line goes up and down and the knots just on this one so this would be your running line now i'm going to pull back down watch this i'm going to pull back down and i'm going to pull on this knot now watch what happens with the knot that we put in there see it right here it's going to keep on moving around and now the knot is on the knot ah, and that's an arbor knot for mono Holds it really well in place. You're gonna to wanna to trim it probably, say within a half an inch or so here. But for an arbor knot, that's probably the easiest one to tie. You can also use a uni knot, you can use everything else, but that knot seems to be very popular amongst people, especially guys fishing, you know, smaller lines like uh, 20, 12 to 20 pound tests. So, Give your arbor knot a try, see how that works, and we've got some more knots coming to you too. Thanks a lot.